Bringing Anna Karenina, Tolstoy's tragic tale of Russian aristocrats, to the cinema involved creating dozens of opulent and extravagant costumes, especially for the star, Kira Knightley. Now, some of those costumes are on display at Ham House in Richmond. Wendy Horrell has been taking a look. The film of Leo Tolstoy's novel is a tragic love story focusing mainly on the aristocratic ladies and gentlemen of 19th century Russia, so the costumes are particularly rich and splendid. Now you can take a closer look at them in a new exhibition, and where better to show that than the long gallery in Ham House, where some of the scenes from the film were shot, such as this one. I'll be off home if I'm in the way. Much of the film, though, was shot in a decaying theatre, with the scenery moving around the cast as it would do on a stage, evoking the stifling atmosphere of Imperial Russia. For this, the set designer is up for both a BAFTA and an Oscar. Though even she admits that grand old houses make perfect settings. When you see sort of actors walking through in their costumes and it laid out how it used to be and things, you know, and people having the normal traumas and fights of every day within like a National Trust house or something in their costumes, oh, it's great. Brings it back to life yeah. again. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they use this as a storage room. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful place film. to store things in. Preparing for an enormous film crew to take over a place so full of treasures takes some organising. We were planning and preparing for about three months beforehand, taking all of the furniture out of the rooms that they were going to be filming in, um, and that's not as easy as it sounds when the furniture is nearly 400 years old. Um, we had to roll carpets, which, which, which took about 12 people a day to do, move heavy, heavy furniture um, all over the house. But now everything is back in place with the addition of these beautiful costumes, which have earned the designer Jacqueline Duran a BAFTA and Oscar nomination. They're on show until April the 4th, in a setting which fits rather well their opulence. It's also an excuse to poke around one of our most impressive 17th century houses. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News. Now for a look at the